These are some of the creepiest TikTok accounts. So TikTok is known for having some creepy stuff on there, but these accounts are said to have some dark secrets hidden within them. I'm going to take a look at these different accounts to see if they're just normal harmless videos or something more sinister may be lying within them. Let's begin. Scary TikTok accounts. Okay, Heart. what do we got here? One. The user Y2Kid Y2 is known Kid, for right. his disturbing videos. Uh oh. Also <laughs> what disturbing videos? Having 100,000 followers. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Okay. And he also uploaded disturbing videos. Okay. Yeah, you already like said that. <laughs> What's this? Okay, it's Bella Porsche. Uh huh. Uh oh. Oh shoot. <laughs> Hi everyone. Y2Kid here. I don't like that. Sorry to interrupt your Okay, he's doing the ooh signs. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's kind of creepy. They can't sleep after that video. Yeah, Lots yeah. Lots of people think he has been forced to make these videos. Uh huh. He also has a website that gives you a virus. Wait, what's that say? Hi, I'm YTK, your favorite computer virus. Welcome to my little hole in the web. I make VHS videos. Some people like them. Oh, okay, well, I wonder why people think it gives them a virus. Okay. And people are trying to figure out where he is. And is he okay? Okay, yeah, Stay yeah. Stay safe. Well, uh, let's look into it then. So let's try to go to his TikTok account. So let's type in Y2Kid. And then we go to accounts. And uh, there's this one here that says, they hid my vids. Okay, so this is the account. He's got 141 followers. But yeah, a lot of the videos are actually missing. So I guess TikTok removed them or something. There's like a lot of Roblox TikTokers that are making videos about Y2Kid saying that he's like in danger or something like that. All of this made some of the people try to track his location and help him. Wait, but did they really try to track his location? He oh, man. disappeared and never made any videos again. Yeah, I guess that no explains why his videos all went down. Him, and it remains a mystery to this day. Okay, but I am curious if that website does actually give you a virus. So let's see. I typed in Y2Kid website and I got this. There is no virus on this website. You are stupid for believing <laughs> TikTok Roblox videos. But I did go to Scam Advisor, which is like a website to test out if a website is reliable or not. And uh, I typed in Y2Kid's website here. It's got a trust of one out of a hundred. So uh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> And for context, Roblox gets like a hundred trust in like being virus free, except for, you know, that one time. And so, yeah, this could be a shady website, but uh, here, I'll be the one to test it out for you. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Are we good? Certified Roblox Creepypasta. Hey, <laughs> shout out to Roblox. I like that. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, yeah, let's enter his website. Hi, everyone. Oh, jeez. Congratulations. <laughs> it's like a lot of spam stuff right now, but uh, I think it's all a like, good fun. I don't really think any of this is actually real. See, I can't even like click on any of this. <laughs> Uh, well, let's see. He's got a blog here. I've had a great privilege of being elevated to a Roblox creepypasta recently. I have been forced to reflect on the sad, sad state of the internet. Yeah, Y2Kid is a little edgy, but I am in his frequently asked questions page here. So uh, let's just read some of them. What are your videos about? Some of my videos are typically satirical in nature. Ultimately, I just make whatever I feel like making. Okay, yeah, that, that seems fine. And so yeah, here he goes into the technical side of his work. He uses Photoshop, Premiere Pro, all his video stuff. So he's not being forced to do them. He's doing them all for fun. He even has like a whole tutorial here on them as well um but yeah that website does not give a virus i wouldn't really recommend going on it but uh yeah it's totally safe but now we move on to something a little bit more sinister take a look the dark story behind sinister terror sinister terror this okay was discovered in 2020 people yeah, believed yeah. that this account was posting videos from the dark web here's oh, okay. an example of what was posted okay what are we gonna get here Ooh, is that a baby doll there or something? Messages everywhere. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I don't like that. That's creepy. Ooh. When the account was being discovered by was, more uh, people, the dark they web. stopped posting. Their last post was in 2021. Uh, I don't know. I just see more like an animation <laughs> than anything. So yeah, here's the TikTok account, Sinister Terror. It seems like it's still up. Let's just take a look at uh, like this video right here. What is this? Ooh, I don't like this. This looks creepy. Okay, what is this? Ooh, ooh. Oh, jeez. The doll. Girl, I'm hungry. <laughs> the doll. Girl, where's your bath? <laughs> At least the comments are having fun over here. Um, yeah, it's just like a lot of creepy stuff here. This is their last video, which they posted back in 2021. It's like an alien looking into the window, which is, you know, it's a little bit creepy. POV, me watching people in Brooklyn. <laughs> but yeah, again, there's a lot of Roblox TikTokers that were scared of this account, saying that a lot of these videos are from the dark web. But uh, yeah, I think this channel is just kind of dedicated to grabbing creepy videos found 
found on the internet. I don't really think that all of these are real, but at the same time, I can't really disprove them either. So uh, we're just gonna leave this one as a mystery. All right, but now we move on to a sad TikTok account. Here, take a look. Did this TikToker disappear? Okay, Can who do we got like here? Can you like and subscribe before this spider disappears? Uh, oh yeah, like and subscribe, please. Bon Skinny was a popular TikToker bon in 2019 okay. who dressed in a strange mask. At first, everyone thought it all was right, a joke right. until she posted videos like this. All right, what did she post? Oh. Okay. People started to see that she was acting strange. Her followers began to speculate and say she got kidnapped. Wait, what? Apparently, Bonskini confirmed the rumors herself. Wait, how did she confirm them? Shortly after this, all her social media accounts got banned. Oh, no one well, knows that's, uh, what that's happened good. to her since. Okay, well, uh, let's look into it then. So I wanted to find out more TikTok stories about this, and I found this one right here. Some days later, Bonskin So it's got like the same exact thing. She also appeared to have said that someone named Mr. Man had kidnapped Mr. her. This Man? started Who is making Mr. people Man? track her location to help her. Bonskin has since been banned, and she deleted all of her social medias, according to people. This is all I know for oh, now. No, Don't so forget sad. to subscribe. Okay, well, uh, let's look into it then. So yeah, going back to the comments of this YouTube video, this person said that the creator decided to end the Bond Skinny ARG. ARG stands for Alternate Reality Game, which is an interactive network narrative that uses the real world as a platform. So yeah, that's pretty much saying that the Bond Skinny thing is all kind of like a fictional narrative. It's not real. But what is real though, is that the creator of Bond Skinny was actually getting doxxed and harassed. She's still keeping record of her medical journey. She's an absolute sweetheart and doesn't deserve the harassment she gets for expressing herself in an artistic manner. She is too insecure about her face and that's why she hated the mask. She tried to pull the mask off but she thought her face was too ugly for this so that she tried scratching it off. Oh, that's pretty sad. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people were like worried about her and some were even just kind of being mean and so they would like track her location and all that which is pretty scary. So I guess this caused for the Bond Skinny ARG to end but I, uh, I wish the best for the creator. I hope everything's going well with them now. But now we move on to a TikTok account that looks like they could be in danger. Guys, something is very wrong about this TikTok account Okay. So at first, it is very creepy how they never blink in any of their videos. Yeah, yeah. What do we got here? Did you see yeah, that? Not blinking. She did the help sign. Wait, and what? also the emojis they use are very That's weird the help and sign? creepy. Okay. Like if you want me to talk about more creepy things. I, uh, I don't really know about the emoji stuff. I didn't really see that to be creepy. What are people saying though? I feel bad for the second girl. Wait, what? The scariest part is the help site. Is that the help sign? Okay, yeah. So doing more research, that is actually a help site that was introduced in Canada by the Canadian Women's Foundation. The help sign is done by having your palm to camera and you tuck your thumb in and then you trap your thumb. Use this signal to ask for help in a video call without leaving a digital trace. There's this video here that says, here is proof that Inca Star is in danger. Danger. Caution sign emoji. Inna and Christina might be in danger. Someone said wear pink if you need help, and she did. She oh, okay. Yeah, that is the help that's sign the right help there. Sign. Okay. Wear pink for help, red for fine, blue for call the police. Okay. She wears black, and they don't blink. Look. Okay, so I just typed in Inca Star, and these are like the two videos at the top, so let's just take a look at this. What's that? What's that? Okay. It looks like a man's head. Wait, is that really a man's head? I don't, I don't know about that. Her tongue have two colors. <laughs> She's got a filter on. That's why. Wait. What's that? Wait, what? Again. Wait, what are we looking at here? It looks like there are two people. Okay, what, Christina, what do you see? and someone with a mask. Ooh. <laughs> What's that? That's kind of creepy, actually. I don't, I don't know. It could be like a camera person. So I wanted to do more research on this to make sure I was presenting everything correctly. And uh, so this is what I found. So it looks like Inca Star got really popular with that one video where a lot of people theorized that she did the help sign. But uh, then they started blinking in their videos. But even that caused people to speculate on things as well. And the thing about the different colors, well, uh, I'll let this YouTuber explain. Purple in your next video if you need help. If you're in danger, wear white in your next video. Wear pink in your TikTok if you're in danger. Wear blue if you're in danger. I mean, if over a thousand comments asked them to wear a particular color, wasn't it obvious that they had to wear at least one of the suggested ones? Also, did that mean they were in danger? Moreover, the dress code was bound to fail. Yeah, there's only so many colors that they could wear. <laughs> it's like someone's bound to get something correct. And also to further prove that they're doing just fine. Well, this is their Instagram account. They're walking around pretty freely. See, they're even hanging around in like festivals and all that. So yeah, everything's fine. While everyone else is worried that she needs help, she's just here chilling like, <laughs> yeah, true. So yeah, the thing with Inca Star, everything's fine. Everything's safe with them. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.